Uh, I think that will do. Okay, are you ready? I... I don't know if this is going to start a fight, but... Uh... Actually, is that the person we need to speak to? I don't think Convince so. the ass giants. Let's see. Wasn't it... I'd like to talk. Oh, my little friend, what brings you here? I need the Ashborn to negotiate peace terms with Levant. Do you have a new High Lord yet? No, not yet. It might be months before we do, but everyone in our village will be glad to have peace. War with the desert people is a good sport, but we Ashborn prefer to work in harmony on our crafts. You should be the one to negotiate for us, I think, if we don't have a High Lord to do it. I will speak with the High Monk and tell him that the war will be over very soon. Oh, I wonder how much the desert people will pay for good Ashborn goods once we have peace. Okay, does that mean we have to... Oh, we're going to go back to Berg, and it's going to say, now you're going to go to the desert and negotiate for us. I will literally slap somebody. Uh, I would be right back, though. Okay, I'm uh, going to start... I'm just oh. going to check real quick. Can you just... You really have... Yeah, you logging out? Uh, uh, either that or you can... Yeah. You can I run will, out the uh, door. I will stop on that play, and okay. you can run ahead. I'll be right back. Sure. But yeah, it seems like you have to go to Monsoon now. So, folks, this is where I die a horrible death without Aimless to take all the damage for me. Uh, let's see, I've still got the damn cold. Slowly healing. I'm giving off sparks, according to this. I think I'll get some more of that burnt health used. Uh, refreshed. Ah, that's the stuff. That is the stuff. Damn good tea is that. Hey, Daisy, How are you? Back after a long hiatus. How are you guys doing? Oh, well, I'm very good, thanks. What have you been up to? Stream's been quiet without you. Well, no, it hasn't really. <laughs> but it's nice to see you back. If I'm going to die, then don't scream. Okay, I'll, I'll try not to scream. What was I playing last time we chatted, Daisy? It was, uh... Was it Witcher? It was it was pre-Outward, I'm sure. I just turned the wrong way there. Come out of there. Mm, I think it's alright. There's not a lot of options on where to go. Hey, Snake Man. Welcome back. How are you this fine Friday evening? Looking forward to a uh, weekend of partying, gaming, feasting. A weekend of feasting. Oh my god, that, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, Daisy, you've been really busy with work. Lots of contracts. And yeah, it was Witcher. You're so backed up on your Witcher videos to boot. Well, that'll, that'll keep you busy when you get some spare time. <laughs> We've had some fun in those Witcher videos. And you're good too, Snackman? Great. Glad to hear it. I'm slightly scorched today. I spent two and a half hours just sitting out in the sun. Well, I say just sitting out in the sun. I wasn't literally just sat there for the sake of it. It was at my kid's sports day this afternoon, which was good. But uh, I haven't actually got burned. I just, you know, just weathered a little bit. Hang on, I don't want to go and aggro that thing. Can I? don't think I can get across here, can I? Let's go find out. Your weekend partying happened midweek. What do you get up to? Oh, Daisy, you're just at the point where I lost the 22,000 crowns in Witcher 3. Those damn goats. I never thought. Somebody said afterwards, I should have gone and tried to kill that guard and see if he had the 20,000 on him. I never thought of that. And it's such an obvious thing to do as well. I feel like I've let myself down. What the hell? Some triffid down there. Okay, I don't think I can fall off that without dying. Is there a safe way around? Nope. So I've got to go. Where the hell have I come? I've come. I come here. Came out of there. How the hell have I? Where's the bridge? How the hell did I get stuck here? Oh, hang on. Is there a way through? Ah, uh, here we go. We're good. Is 
You don't have any plans for the weekend, Snackman? Just take it as it comes, eh? I might watch a bit of football tomorrow. There's more of the Women's World Cup on tomorrow. I'm missing what is probably a really good game on right now. I don't know if you guys have the score. France versus USA. I'd be curious to see who wins that because they're going to play England in the next match on Tuesday. You went on a Tallinn Stockholm Tallinn cruise. Awesome. You upload some pictures in Discord? How did I miss that? I didn't see any of a cruise. I saw some pictures of all sorts of games and stuff. You saw the England-Norway game on the ship? It was it was pretty good, it was the England-Norway game. Not enough drama. I like a bit of drama in them. Can I use that pier down there? Am I following the Cricket World Cup? Not especially. Um, not that I have anything against it. It's just that I just haven't been particularly following it. Uh, I think like all the matches have been played when I've been working or busy or streaming, so... Uh, I see the results and England were looking pretty iffy for qualifying for the next round. I don't know if that's still the case. But they were like, I think they went in as favourites to win and uh, have been rather surprised by everyone else. Hey, I'm back. Hey, welcome back. I, I just behaved. Just got to Monsoon. Ah, oh, wonderful. Uh, let's see. Who am I supposed to talk to here? Uh, first thing I have to talk to is I get, have to get my helmet, I think. Ah, yeah, okay, cool. I think we set that up, right? I think so. I think we set it off. <laughs> Based on how Norway lost, it looks like Norwegians are only good at drilling oil. <laughs> That's a bold statement, Indigo. Yeah. I mean, they can also raise fish. Which I think Murano is one of those people. I think... Um, I mean, I watched the, was it Japan, was it Japan, France played? Uh, I mean, the, the Japanese team looked amazing in the second half. They just couldn't get the ball in the back of the net. But they came so close on so many occasions and then lost, uh, gave a penalty away. And it, it seemed a really harsh penalty as well. But um, hey, that's football, I guess. All right, Lats Temple is right at the back of this place. I'm coming with my Palladium helmet. I look like a unicorn now. Cool. I'm going to see this. You thought New Zealand were the favourites for the World Cup? They might have been. Actually, they might have been. You're a little biased since your team just beat them recently. <laughs> India's doing really well in the Cricket World Cup as well. It's, it's nice to see... It's, it's nice not to see the favourites just win everything all the time. It's nice to see them get shocks and... Uh, get shaken up a little bit. It keeps all these competitions a bit more interesting. Okay, That's I... A... Was it always there? I don't remember. Hey, up. These... Oh, hang on. Something's kicking off here. Cardinal Burlamark. We gather here today under Ilat's eye to bring an end to the hostilities between the Blue Chamber Collective and the heroic Kingdom of Levant. Get on with it. My wife is dying. Ilat promised us he could save her. Seriously, the Blue Chamber took their sweet-ass time getting ready. How can we be sure that they even want peace? Enough squabbling. Too much blood has been spilled. Sit and reach a peaceful conclusion like adults. I guess that's Ilat with the fancy hat on and the green staff. Rissa Aberdeen. Might be the, wait, isn't Ilat to be supposed to be like the big god thing in the back? Well, it could it be. Like a goddess or something? We'll see if a little speech oh. bubble pops up over its head. Uh, Rissa Aberdeen, the entirety of the Blue Chamber Collective stands united on this. Even the Ash Giants wish for an end to this conflict. If we are to make peace, we require war reparations for the villages that were destroyed, as well as half your store of firearms and the knowledge to make more. King Simeon, that dude. What? Why? You want to cripple us? We need those weapons just to deal with the beasts of Abrasar. Do you expect us to just disarm ourselves and hand over our weapons to the enemy? We don't want your disarmament. We simply wish to be on equal military footing. It will prevent future conflict. Yeah, right. Do not forget Simeon. Whoops, we're still on her. Levant started this war. Have you dealt with the one behind the attack on our city? Don't you dare speak about this any further. The mastermind has been dealt with, and I will not bear anyone twisting the knife further. Queen Calixer? Who the hell is Queen? Oh, there in the corner, dying. Simeon, enough. I see their point. 
We should have been more vigilant. We allowed this war to erupt under our watch. We need to be active to prevent further violence. We will share our weapons with the Blue Chamber. We need assistance in rebuilding our kingdom. Our food supplies and military are all severely damaged and depleted. We're barely able to hold Levant together. If food is what you need... Sorry folks, just, just for those of you who aren't aware, I've turned the voice overs in this off simply because they don't match the text that's written on the screen. And then they say a bit and then pause long enough for me to think it's finished. So I start reading the rest out and then they jump back in again. So there we go. Rissa Aberdeen, if food is what you need, we'll provide our excess grain freely and see that it makes its way to Levant with all possible speed. In exchange, we want full compliance on your sharing of your firearms. Good. I may not be long for this world, but I need to know that my kingdom will be left in capable hands. Hey, Elat, you said you could save her. Get on with it before she collapses again. Is that Elat? I don't see a speech bubble. I don't see a speech bubble anywhere else, though, so let's assume it is. Fear not. Calixa has shown incredible strength of will and an unwavering commitment to the needs of her people. She has sought progress and improvement with a zeal that rivals any I've ever seen. Not only are these the traits that the heroic kingdom needs in order to thrive, but they are the keys to giving Calixa the power to survive her death and truly bring Levantine dream to life as the newly arisen goddess of Levant. Eh? Queen Calixa. I do not... Un oh, camera, thank you. 180. I do not understand what you just said. What do you mean you want me to become the goddess of Levant? I will be blunt. The poison you were beset with contained very potent blood from a scourge beast. Holy crap. Mutations. There's genetic mutations going on. That corruption still courses through your spirit. Though the poison itself has been cleansed, the corruption will still claim you and turn you into something less than human. Oof. In order for you to survive, you must become more than what you are. You must become living thought as I have. And I believe that once you ascend, you'll be able to lead your people into prosperity, not just in your mortal lifetime, but in every lifetime to come. It is a drastic solution, but is the only one that ensures the dream of the heroic kingdom will continue. Will you take on the mantle of godhood for your people, Calixa? This, this is rather sudden, but if it's the only way I can continue to serve my people, then yes, I'll give up my humanity if I can keep the Levantine dream alive. What do I need to do? What? This is beyond insanity. You can't just create a new goddess at the drop of a hat, especially not one who was just recently at war with us. This would destroy any semblance of a balance of power. To any who wish to object, hold your tongues. I will not see this peace declared only for Levant to crumble in its execution. This will bring further balance to Ori. The Blue Chamber has me as their god. Calyx's ascension will only even the scales. If we have a god, why do we need us? Hmm. Because the god is pretty much lazy. I guess so. It doesn't seem to have any arms, so that's kind of... Uh... Yeah, that's a problem. I'm coughing. Oh, I, I'm still got the cold. I'm coughing. We need, oh. we need someone to tell me to get out now that we don't cough during interviews and things. Right. Further, you must understand that even I have my limits. With just one god present in our eye, the scourge will never be eradicated and we will never progress past what we are now. We will never do more than just survive if I am the only god humanity can depend on. I know my place. I cannot argue with a literal god. But please, consider the implications of your actions. Telling a god to consider the implications of its actions? Yeah, yeah. Cardinal so is... Burlamark. So we are agreed. Peace will be declared. Queen Calixa will be saved by ascending to divinity. Levant will share their weapons with the Blue Chamber. And they will send food to Levant for the foreseeable future. Is this acceptable to all parties? I agree to these terms. Simeon? I can live with these terms. This isn't the peace I want, but it's one I can accept. Rissa. Very well. The Blue Chamber Collective accepts these terms of peace. Cardinal Burlamark. Then we've reached an agreement. The pact will be sealed with the exchange of gifts and by sharing a drink of Peacemaker's Elixir. Blessed by Elat, it will grant health and long life to those who've worked so hard to obtain peace. Does it cure the bloody common cold? On behalf of the heroic kingdom of Levant, I offer an exquisitely cut Tsar stone, a gemstone of unequaled beauty and power. 
And on behalf of the holy mission of Ilat, I offer the Peacemaker's Elixir, which grants long life, endurance, and spiritual growth. Oak, you should have this Peacemaker's Elixir. You deserve it. You'll make better use of it than me, I feel. Then Calixa's ascension must begin immediately. Leave the temple and gather your troops. Prepare to defend this. Why do we need to prepare to defend really? the city? What? Did I miss something in all that story? Apparently. We're about to be attacked. By whom? I thought we'd just declared peace. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Rissa, defend against what? Yeah, didn't we just agree to peace terms? The ascension ritual will magnify my presence here. It will attract any scourge within the entire marsh. In their frenzy, they will ignore even the agony caused by the Vigil Crystal to attack Monsoon. I cannot perform the ritual and hold off the Scourge at the same time. I must rely on all of you to protect our people until Calix's ascension is complete. I bought some I bought some soldiers with me. I'll get them ready to fight. Our troops will do the same. Simeon, for once, you have to be my shield. I'm going to fight hard enough for both of us, love. You focus on your own ordeal. I have a sudden image of King Simeon being from Sheffield or somewhere. I'm going to fight hard enough for both of us, love. You focus on your own ordeal. You know what the worst part is? What? Why did both parties bring soldiers to a peace talk? Yeah, curious. It's as if they knew. Like, eh. Is that a thing we did? Like, just uh. roll up a bunch of people and then say, hey, peace, though. <laughs> Right, oh. we're up to next. Elat, monsoon safety rests on your shoulders. You all know what you need to do. Now go. There's going to be a fight. I guess we get out. Did you get the Peacemaker's Elixir? No, you got one though. You take it. Uh, I don't... Oh, is this it? Grants permanent bonuses. Okay, let's use that. Glug, 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 glug. It says it's been... It's been learned. Okay. What's it done? Uh, it's probably a, a, a skill you can look at. It looked like a skill icon. Like if you I, go to your the one to the second to the right, it should be in there. The right. I'd say. I don't see anything. It looked like one of those. What's that one? Is it a, is it in the passive skills? Oh, it could like there's be. like these three bars. Uh, where we're we looking. Uh, left side, there's this uh, this hourglass, this this round thing, uh, the circle and the crown, and the, the round thing is the thing you wanted to get when you are in skills. When I'm in skills, it's like when you're in skills, there's like this. Oh, sorry, yes, the, I see, I right see. Side. Thanks. Left side, sorry. So what have we got? Survivors' resilience, maximum health. Oh, what are these? Peacemaker elixir, maximum health, stamina, and mana by twenty. Ah, nice. Okay, cool. Again, I'd never noticed those uh, those bars there before. Yeah, we were like we had to look at them when we were like, "What the?" There's a fight going on out here. Jiggly Jesus on the bicycle. Yep. Let me just get my ah no, where's my regular skills gone? The question is, do we actually have to? We uh, well. Is the, oh no, we yeah, need, I think we, we have traps. to. We need traps. I think I need to stand out the way of that thing. In fact, let's just go. Let's just nuke it down fast. Nuke the, nuke the little uh, uh, uh. The horrors. Nuke the horrors. I'm just, I'm, I'm nearly dead. Oh, that is, that seems bad. I'm dead. Oh, <laughs> I should have dropped the bag. Ah, no way! <laughs> okay, you just, can we just chill? Give me a second. I'll be right back. Is there any, any NPCs to drag these onto? <laughs> After these messages. Eh. <laughs> Quick, move. Eh, Ooh, now. Thump. Hang on, what have we got in here? Alpha split. Alpha split. I'm oh. trying to get the big guy on me. Hey, big I've guy. I've got... Yeah, get, get him on you. If you can. Where's that green stuff coming from? He's okay. on me. Great, I need... The green stuff is the, the little horror guy. I'm going to punch look, him once. Look, look. Right. Traps. Ow. Ow, everything Hang hurts. On. They're punching my back. I can't get out. I can't get out of here. Um... So, I dropped my backpack and all my healing stuff's in there, apparently. Ah, uh, it's clearly unnecessary. <laughs> Drink the potion! Drink the potion! No, don't! <coughs> weapon fire! Potion! Uh, I think I'm they're on me. That hot. 
Yeah, they're both on you. You kind of have to run towards the stairs and get the guy with the burning weapon up. Okay. Um, are Slowly they coming this way? Down them. Uh, they are, they're ignoring me now. Not really, they, they're not quite ignoring you as they are just like, unsure how to get to where right. you are. Sprint. Yep, you have, you have, you have the time there. Oh, F. There we go. Pay respects. Okay, back up. Jeez, need right, help. let me back just take quick. that greater life potion down the hatch. There we go. That'll help a bit. Okay, they, so... When they start, got them pummeling you. That's just unfair. Yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty grim, is that? Hey, Captain Bay, you're back. What did you miss? Uh, the end of the world. Sort of. Wait, reorganize. Can we put traps down? Oh, uh, so the big guy just collapsed due to poison. Nice. Uh, I'm putting the traps down. Cool. Have a nice little line of, of traps going there. <laughs> I'll drop a, a runic trap at the front. I'm just going to use three because I'm not quite sure if we need them for more. Oh, there we go. Get that down. Okay, and let's also. Us. No, he's not. Let's get my turnip okay. pottage used. Hey, buddy. You want to. Uh, yeah, let's annoy talk him. With me? Whoa, that's a big chopper. It's a big swing, eh? Come to there me, friendo! Twang, twang. I'm just going to keep some distance and nuke him. I just wanted to say, maybe just put down traps. Because aggro. Yeah, aggro is, a, is definitely a thing. No, I'm going to nuke you in the face. That worked. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, more healing. That guy had a large emerald on him. Nice. Look at that. Okay, is there any more monsters here? He's got loads of rubbish. Thorny cartilage? Do we need any of this stuff anymore? I don't think so. Okay, is there more stuff to kill? What's it say in the, uh, the Book of Destiny? Protect Monsoon from the invading Scourge Beasts. So there might be a bit more around yet. Hmm. Let's go take a look around. I'm just putting out a bandage. There we go. I don't really see much. Uh, probably further towards the entrance or over to the side with all the houses. Just gonna. Oh, I'll get that omelet eaten. Like, hey, I have a good plan. Let's just destroy one of my cities. <laughs> Yeah, well, the walls didn't seem to make much difference, did they? Oh, no, that no. bloody lake that, uh, you found something? Right there, some, there's some fighting going on over there. I'm just going to put down traps. Hey, you just, you just bombard them. Oh, there's, like, uh, who do we want? There's one over here that's... Ha <laughs> ha, he's coming. Yeah, ah, I've got the stupid auto lock on. Move. Run away. Incoming. Oh, no. No, he's not. Okay. Hey, buddy. Can we talk about you coming to me? <laughs> okay, there's a wonderful purple thing. You can walk into the... Oh, come here, come here. Prepare more. I think we can nuke him down from there. That'll do. That'd be good. Well, let's drop another trap here. That guy had two greater life potions. No, Indigo, I don't really know what the story is supposed to be in this game either. It's it's mixed up. Oh, he's, our guy survived. Good job. I'm going to try and drag one of these horrors from the other end of the, the map. Yeah. The big right, guys I can do actually it. poison. Oh, no, our, our guards are tanking quite well. Yeah, that's the, that's the battle board to do that. And what? In yeah, the that name looks of... like a different proposition altogether. That seems. Oh yeah, yeah. Um... Trap down. I'm gonna put down more traps. <laughs> I have three oh, more. Oh, I'm gonna quickly bandage as well. Yeah. yeah. Or do the uh, the runic healing thing. I can't remember the combination for that. <laughs> if I'm honest. Uh, I mm, I will take one of okay, those. Put down... actually... Oh, that worked. That worked well. Two of the, the two rear trap. Battleborn, dude! He's going in. He's going in a bit premature there, I think. 
bomb them. Bomb them. Oh, oh. Continue bombing. Mm. Hold back. Oh, oh, oh. Ouch. Oh, oh, oh. Block. Block. Where's my spell gone? And dodge. Back here, buddy. Dodge. Ow. No, I'm gonna go down fighting. No, you don't. Good work. Good work. Right. Poison. That was Leon the Butcher. Butcher's Amethyst. Leon the Butcher? Okay. I think it was What's this Leon um loot? Butcher of Man, sorry. Can I pick up this magic halberd? That would be cool. So probably not. Spiritual <laughs> varnish, no. Tell you what I should be using. I should be using the Gabriel wine. Mm. Can you actually put a fire rag on your weapon as well? Oh, yes, I can actually. And I will because there's evil Duda in front of me. <laughs> evil Duda. Don't step in it. I don't want to get too close to this fella. Yep, yep. I'm just going to slowly back off and tell him, you know what, here's a nice little thing for you. Do we want a little bit of, um... Bit of that, maybe. <laughs> that's, that's bound to help. Well, he is definitely not liking being on fire. <laughs> he looks kind of wooden. I figured it would be a good move. I'm not sure if that's wood. Yeah, maybe it is wood, actually. Ow. We've hey, done it. We did it. We did it. Yay. The log's been updated. Talk to Rissa in Monsoon. So we now have a god, right? That was unexpected. I'm glad you came along. Me too. It's not every day you get to be present for a divine ascension. After all I've been through, I need a vacation and ten barrels of wine. Granted, you've more than done your part here. You were a real asset out there today, Oak. I look forward to seeing what path you carve for yourself from here on out. Your stalwart defense of Monsoon saved lives, Oak. Also, see me and ask that I give this gift to you. May it serve you well. One or oh, crimson plate boots. <laughs> Overweight. You're free to do as you please, Oak. I trust your instincts. Do whatever you feel you need to do. I think that's it. Is that the whole story? Enjoy the peace you helped create. That's it. There's second requests. But that is the that is the story of this game. Of this particular faction, anyway. Playing through for the two other guys would be different, I think. Uh thanks, uh, Bear. We've 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 beaten the game.